and your change is two dollars and twenty-five cents. Thank you. Come back and see us again soon. <sighs> Finally, the last customer. Go lock the door so nobody else comes in. No, I can't. I'm counting my drawer. Why do we always get stuck closing? You're right. The daytime shift is mostly people with kids, so they need to be home before dark. Would you just go lock the door? Okay, but if we get another customer, you'll be waiting on them. And I will be going home. Oh, so now you want to lock it. <laughs> I really hope it's not this busy tomorrow, but it probably will be. These seasonal drinks will be the death of me. In the summer, it was the Hawaiian Blast smoothie. And now that it's autumn, it's that darned apple cider mocha. What part of those three words should be in a warm drink together? And the smell. Ugh! Oh, I do remember last October. If I never hear the words pumpkin cinnamon ever again, it'll be too soon. That was way back when Joey was the manager. He was so cool, letting us take home unsold food and just being an overall great guy. And his wife making us cookies every week. I miss them. Yes, the cookies. But I miss Joey too. But I'm sure his retirement is keeping him very happy. Back then it felt less commercialized. Like you could feel the love every time you step foot into this place. Nowadays, it's like everyone's in such a rush. It's more about efficiency than quality. Such is the way of the future, I guess. Last year feels like a lifetime ago. I was so new back then. I had a good handle on things, though. What do you mean? Of course I did. Sure, my first day was a little hectic, but... What first week? What on earth did I do in the first week? Oh. I guess that was so embarrassing I blocked it from my memory. <laughs> that businessman was so furious. But then who wouldn't be if a frazzled barista spilled a frappuccino all over your tie? That was the day I threatened to quit, wasn't it? I can't believe I forgot about that. What? But why didn't I quit? <sighs> you know why. Are you really going to make me say it? Okay, since you have this unbearable need to gloat all the time... I was ready to walk out that door and never look back. Then you showed up. You were just leaving after you shipped and saw everything. I was so embarrassed that I wanted to crawl into a hole and die. But you told me not to sweat it and that everyone makes a ton of mistakes when they're new. You told me that funny story about how you broke the milk steamer during your first week. And that made me feel way less scared. So I decided not to quit. I wanted to thank you for being so helpful, but I got nervous and just blurted out my favorite song. Ugh. This is why I blocked out those memories. They're too cringy. Well, you're right. The next weekend, we did go to that concert and it was amazing. And then we became friends and you taught me everything I needed to know about how to be a great barista. And now I totally kick butt at it. What do you mean you wouldn't say that? Aww, because I'm incredibly amazing at it? Bestie, come here and hug me. I knew I made the right decision not to leave. So, Bestie? Since I'm such an incredibly amazing barista and all, does that mean you'll clean out the cappuccino machine tonight? <laughs> But I have faith in you. I'll even give you a pep talk if you need it. Wait, what are you doing with that whipped cream? <laughs>